In March 1977, elections in India saw the Janata Party bringing about a paradigm shift in Indian politics. It was the first time since independence that a non-Congress government had taken power at the center. It also brought an end to Indira Gandhi's authoritarian rule. Let's look at how a government that swept in with so much promise fell apart so quickly. The Janata Party was a ragtag collection of politicians whose beliefs ranged from the right wing with the Jansang to the radical with the socialists. But Jay Prakash Narayan, popularly known as JP, helped these leaders temporarily bury their differences. He convinced them that only a united opposition could spare the country from Indira Gandhi's totalitarian rule. After elections were announced on the 18th of January 1977, Congress leaders Jagjeevan Ram and Ajit Bahuguna deserted Indira over the emergency she had declared. They formed the Congress for Democracy or CFD, which later merged with the Janata Party. On the 23rd of January, the formation of the Janata Party was announced with the merger of the Congress O, Bharatiya Lokdal, Janasang, and the CFD. JP issued the call for defeat the dictators and plunged into a hectic campaign, ignoring his frail health. He had a kidney disease, but campaigning forced him to skip dialysis for days. The election was a watershed. The Congress was wiped out in Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi and Himachal Pradesh. But it swept elections in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Of the total 542 Lok Sabha seats, the Janata Party won 298, while the Congress managed only 154. Indira and her son Sanjay Gandhi lost in Rai Bareilly and Amethi. This was the most embarrassing blow. But for the Janata Party, differences cropped up over who would be Prime Minister, with Murarji Desai, Charan Singh and Jagjeevan Ram in the race. After balancing factional interests, JP chose Murarji to lead the new government. On the 24th of March 1977, Murarji Desai was sworn in as Prime Minister, while Charan Singh and Jagjeevan Ram were given Home and Defence Ministries. Despite the differences, the Janata Party came together to punish Indira for the emergency excesses. Eight commissions of inquiry were set up to fix responsibility for the atrocities committed during this 19-month period. Home Minister Charan Singh insisted on setting up special courts to try Indira and Sanjay Gandhi, but Morarji shot down the proposal. Determined to send Indira to jail, Singh ordered her arrest in October 1977. She was charged with violating election laws and favouring a French oil company. But the case fell through as the charges levelled against her were flimsy. The government was left with egg on its face and Indira won people's sympathy. Murarji was unhappy with his Home Minister going on a witch hunt, but Singh felt that in any other country Indira would be facing a trial on the lines of the historic Nuremberg trials conducted after the Second World War. Their public differences led Murarji asking Charan Singh and his lieutenant Raj Narayan to quit the government. Singh hit back by accusing Murarji's son, Kanti Desai, a businessman, of corruption and embarrassing the government. Apart from internal party squabbles, theories of communal riots in Bihar and Uttar Pradesh eroded people's faith in the government. Socialist leader Madhuli Mai and former congressman Echen Bahuguna blamed the RSS for the communal disturbances. They raised demands for Atal Bihari Vajpayee and LK Advani, both senior ministers, to sever ties with the RSS or quit the cabinet. With Jansang members refusing to part ways with the RSS, Raj Narayan split the party 
walking out with MPs belonging to the Charan Singh and socialist camps. It was a turning point as this split led to the fall of the government and Murarji Desai resigned on the 28th of July 1979. JP watched the party fall apart from his modest house in Patna. The Janta Party and the coming together under this banner had been his brainchild, but now he was helpless. Battling chronic kidney failure, he died a sad and dejected man on the 8th of October, 1979. Within months of this, the constituents that had made up the Janata Party went their separate ways. Jansang members formed the Bharatiya Janata Party in April 1980. Charan Singh floated the Janata Dal, secular, and Chandrasekhar carried on with what was left of the Janata Party. Murarji Desai retired from politics. Meanwhile, cashing in on all of this, Indira Gandhi made a stunning comeback in the January 1980 elections. Despite its failings, the Janata Party government fulfilled the one major promise that had won it the election. It restored democracy, people's civil rights and the authority of the courts by repealing the constitutional amendments pushed by the Indira Gandhi government during the emergency. Though it rose meteorically and crashed spectacularly, the Janata Party government did leave a lasting impact on India's political landscape.